Thank you. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, it is my pleasure to be here and an honor to represent the scientists. I'm not, a, I'm not an engineer, I'm a scientist. But we talk the same language. We try to solve the same problem. The next one. We are dealing with the issue of uh, food security. And one of the measures of food insecurity is, sorry, can I have this slide? One of the issues which are a measure of food insecurity is under nutrition. There is information we got from FAO that uh, the previous one, the previous one. The, if you look at the diagram, that the percentage of people who are undernourished in southern, sub sub Saharan Africa. And if you look at the figures, which are not there in the report, in 2010, there were about 171 million people who were undernourished in, our, in southern Africa. And in 2016, the number has increased to 224 million. That increase in a period of six years, which is about 53 million, it's about, four, about, about five times the population of Tunisia. We are not improving in terms of how we provide food to our people. And now we are left with 12 years to realize the SDGs. Still, we have a problem. We, we, we can't continue like this. Food insecurity might not improve. As, as soon, as long as we don't improve the ways in which we approach the situation. Next slide. Next slide. Now, our people, how long will all the people, how long will it take for us to have our people have physical, social, economic access to sufficient, affordable, safe, nutritious food to maintain them healthy, to maintain them active, as well as, as for all times, at all levels, from individual levels, household level, national level, sub-regional level, and continental level. What should it take for us to get there? I mean, are we not producing enough? Are we not storing enough food? Are we not distributing enough so that we can eradicate the hunger in this continent? What is it that we are not doing right? If you go to the internet now and Google a hungry child, you have more than 80% of the faces coming out there as an African hungry child. There are some who, are, who come from other parts of the globe, but most of the faces and pictures of hungry child, hungry people on the internet are from Africa. Now, if we're looking at ending hunger and achieve food security and to improve the, the nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture on the continent, we can use the SDG number two as a guide. Now, we have got this tool around available to us to use to see how we can improve the food security on the continent. Next slide. Now, there are a number of things we have in Africa. We have data. We have information. We have people with ideas. We have people who can sit down and come up with strategies but we cannot end hunger 
and improve food security on the continent as long as the communication between the different actors is not improved. As long as we are not talking the same language, the scientists I'm sitting here, the engineers sitting there, the social, uh, social um, society organization that are sitting somewhere, and the policymakers are also talking the same language. Why don't you improve our communication? How would, what, what does it take to improve our communication? But can you not have a common and harmonized framework to ensure that we have a coherent information of data gathering, coherent information which we can share among us? The task I think we are here for is to make sure that what we are creating here, I know there are more engineers here than scientists. There are more engineers here than, than the policymakers. But how do we take this information we are going to get out of this meeting to the people who make decisions and make changes on the, on the, on, on the ground? How can we improve our communication? Those people, sit, uh, who, they got a very good idea of constructing a railroad line, but they didn't talk to each other and the trend will never move. Next slide. Now, if you look at engineering and science as a factor, we, we talked about availability of food. We are producing food. Africa has got arable land. As Africa has got resources which you can make us produce enough food for our people. What is it that we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are doing right? The engineers are here. We can assist to develop cultivars, types of crops, which can yield high variety, which can be resistant to, to drought, which are hitting the, the, the continent. We, can, we, can, we, can, we know that the climate is changing. We know that the seasons are changing. There's movement in the, in, in the seasons. But what are we doing as scientists and engineers to make sure that we have enough or we have the right crops to make sure that we have the crops which talk to the current climate? What are we engineering? We, we, we know that there is, there is water. There are, there are less reservoirs on the continent. Water runs from the sky, runs from the sky, it goes in the river, it goes the ocean. But we can't trap that water and improve our, our food security. What is it that we are doing right? The post-harvest techniques, what, what innovations can we have in Africa to improve this? As long as we still sit in our silos as, as physicists, scientists, chemists, engineers, this side, we will never afford to get this right in the next 12 years. Even in 2063, we won't be able to make it. So I think it is the, this is the opportunity we can sit down, discuss, and find out what the best thing we can do to improve our agriculture, to improve the lives, the, the lives of our people. There are people from our agriculture sector, there are engineers here, there are scientists, the policymakers are here. Now, we need to have a solution. We don't come here and sit, talk for two days, and nothing comes out of this. Who is our target out of this? Are we targeting the AU? Are we targeting the, the regional economic communities? What, who, who is our target? How do we then intend to change the policies which are available? Next slide. As long as we know that there is food there, and this is my stake, and that's your stake as an engineer, and that's my stake as a scientist, and we don't talk to each other, we will come 2030 and still have a problem of food insecurity. Hunger will be on the rise. But if we sit down and talk, we can deal with one stack and deal with the other stack. And eventually, at the end, our people will not be hungry. Our people will not die hungry. Our people will not die in an, on, in an, with an empty stomach. This is why you are here. We need to have innovation. Innovation mechanisms Africa does not, should not depend on the innovation that comes from the other parts of the globe. That was developed based on the problem they had. We have got a problem in Africa. Let's develop our own innovation, our own science, our own engineering, 
based on the problem we had in Af we have in Africa. Otherwise, we'll come back, sit again, and talk, and we will never get there. Next one. So the, I, I come from the National Science Council. We are based in Pretoria, but we've got other regional offices in the Malaysia, uh, Malaysia for Asia and Pacific, in El Salvador, but our headquarters in Paris. We are also working on issues around global environmental change. We are also working on issues around the sustainable development. And we are dealing, we are helping, we are trying to help Africa to grow. And I think we should work together as engineers, as scientists, and come up with a solution that talks to our problem in Africa. Thank you.